Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we've got another trading methods video. We're going to be looking specifically today on the FIFA 23 market ahead of Team of the Season, how we can make some really easy coins on any budget. Whether you have like 10 to 20,000 coins or whether you have millions like me, we are going to make a lot of coins during Team of the Season because there's going to be a lot of content and a lot of opportunity because of all the content that's going to be released. We're going to start by talking about stuff in the here and now before team of the season investments that we can make and also during team of the season i really just want this to be a video where we're going to talk a lot about trading methods and how to kind of grind the market and make coins during this period so you can look back on this video during team of the season and get some methods get some ideas whenever you may need them to make some coins so if you're excited for the video if it helps you out today drop a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new team of the season isn't quite here yet but there's investments that we can make because we're expecting a team of the season warm-up series promise it might be going on while you're watching this video, but it's all about SBCs for packs or objectives to get packs that we can go and do to save those packs for the big promo of team of the season. And of course, when you think of SBCs, you think like we've had recently with these player picks or maybe the 83 times 15 or the 84 times seven. What do you need for those? You need fodder. And that's kind of the popular investment right now. But this investment just flat out makes sense. 82s, 83s, 84s and 85s are undoubtedly going to rise during this team of the season warm-up series promo. This is kind of like a here and now investment. I'm looking at these cards and I'm saying, wow, in the 3K range for 84s, when they have been upwards of five to 6,000 coins multiple times this year, especially like right before the, uh, and during the World Cup, right? We had World Cup warm-up series before team of the year. We had these guys at 5K for team of the year warm-up series. And you look back to last year during TOTS warm-up series in mid to late April, what were 84s, five, six, seven thousand coins. They were up big. 85s last year. 85s last year compared to this year are a bit different. Like you notice. 85s last year were like five to 6,000 coins, kind of at their low points, and then they would go up to like 11 to 12K. This is like last year during TOTS warm up, they were about 12,000 coins, 10 to 12K. This year, 85s have like so much potential, it's crazy. These guys have already been upwards of 15 to 16,000 coins a couple different times this year, and they've been down a lot recently. So under 9K, I know they're kind of rising already as people are investing. You can look at these prices and you can see that they are starting to go up. But if you have a chance to get 85s at 9,000 coins. That is an okay price where I think we could see them sometime in the next couple of weeks, maybe even during team of the season, reach prices of upwards of 10 to 12, maybe, obviously above 10. If you're buying at nine, you need them to go above 10, but I could see 12 to 13 to 14,000 coins on these cards. So those are kind of the investments that are like, you know, I guess in the, in the like near future, if you're watching this video and it's during team of the season warm-up series 83s under a thousand coins are really good as well those could be going up to somewhere around two thousand coins maybe 3k it all depends on the specific sbcs that we get but we get a lot of these SBCs like we did last year where it's going to be kind of like a, an 81 times 11 or we get a 85 times 5 from the E-Figs, which is like a pack that you would save right for the upcoming team of the season. So I think there's going to be a lot of SBCs like that, which will require fodder. So that's a really easy investment right now if you're on a low tier. And then also during team of the season, once the promo actually gets started, this is for really a good low tier investment. If you notice here, we see a lot of these challenges. Community Tots Challenge, right? There's a bunch of them. Community Tots Challenge 4. Community Tots Challenge. You go to the Premier League team this season. You got Premier League Tots Challenge. These are cheaper SBCs, and a lot of them last year gave out swap tokens, or some of them did. We don't know right now about team of the season swaps. We'll have to see. Uh, but these are the type of SBCs that it's worth going into Ultimate Team and club stocking some gold non-rares, specifically gold non-rares from popular leagues and nations. Um, like I think of this Chris Smalling. How much is Chris Smalling right now? This is a card that like any SBC with English player requirements and like an 80 rated squad gets dropped. And this guy goes to like 3K. So anytime you see a card like this uh, or any non-rare like Eric Dyer is another one, English center backs, center attacking mids, left mids and right mids that are like 80 rated that are gold commons seem to have really really good rises at uh, this year. So what I would do is stock your club if you want to do this with some, you know, English, Italian, French, German, Spanish, the top nine nations, the top five leagues, stock some guys in your club from those, and you'll just give yourself a really good chance at making some coins during team of the season because probably a lot of those pack flash SBCs 
will be released, right? That's a really good investment there as well. Uh, also, uh, especially as we get into team of the season, another really low budget investment that you could make is actually with some staff items, the managers, right? We expect Air Divisie team of the season. We expect Saudi League team of the season. We expect like MLS team of the season to be dropped as well. I think you've already started to see a bit of a rise on some of the, the Dutch managers that are on this game. I believe these were like 200 coins at, uh, at their lowest. How much are Dutch managers around? 450 for these, right? So if you can get some of these at like, I don't know, two to 300 coins, I think that's a really good buy because once we get Air Divisie Tots, which is coming out right at the beginning of team of the season with Community Tots on the 28th of April, uh, this is going to be something to watch every single week we go throughout team of the season because a lot of the leagues, right, you, when La Liga is released, maybe Spanish managers will go up a little bit. Um, it's probably going to help more so for like the secondary league. So maybe for Saudi Tots, maybe for MLS, maybe for Super League, um, maybe for, you know, some of those other other leagues that are going to be releasing some team of the season players where it's a nationality is very hard to link and a manager can help out with that. So that's kind of one thing to look out for, especially if the cards for the managers are like 200 coins. That's literally a no risk investment. And it's like, and you can see here on a bid 250, 300 coins. That's literally zero to no risk. So that's a really good investment there. Uh, and then something you can do before team of the season starts out as well is kind of along those same lines, look for really meta players that are from those kind of secondary leagues that may not be getting a team of the season card, but will be cards people use to link in those kind of secondary league team of the season. Right? I think about this Timber card at 130,000 coins. I don't know if he's going to get a team of the season. He had one last year, but for Eredivisie Tots that is upcoming, he's from Ajax. He is Dutch, and that will be a perfect link for a card that already exists on the market. If people want to go try out some Eredivisie Tots cards, that would be a perfect card to buy that you could link up with some of those players. On a bit more of an expensive level, you've got like the Fantasy Foot version of Dirk Kite. Maybe in the World Cup version of Dirk Kite could be a good investment, right? This guy, since he is Dutch and he's a hero, he's got those good links. I think his price is maybe going up a little bit already. Yeah, he definitely is. So I would like wait to see if we have more team of the season kind of panic here in the next couple of days for an investment like this. But that's the kind of stuff to think for, uh, through when we get those specific league releases that focus on a certain nation uh, for links during team of the season. So that's kind of a good investment there. Um, like those meta players from the off leagues, you know, there's not a, probably a ton of examples of uh, MLS players, but once like MLS tots is dropped, maybe like Landon Donovan uh, is a good look for the trophy Titans hero, Landon Donovan, right? That's the best version of the, in the game of his card. And it's pretty cheap. Maybe you look at a Clint Dempsey hero card, Maybe you look at some other MLS specials that are halfway usable uh, that are on the market, right? Because people will be buying some of those cards to link to some of those new TOTS cards that they're going to be trying out and packing during team of the season. So that's kind of some methods for like a lower tier budget. Now, if we move on to during team of the season, um, I want to talk about fodder a little bit more during team of the season because everybody invests in fodder and thinks about fodder like for, you know, before team of the season, right? Like last year, 84 spiked heavy, but then they went down during tots. Fodder is actually very needed during team of the season as well, because as you saw in some of these SBCs, we get the guaranteed tots SBCs, right? Community tots upgrade. Really, there's a lot of hype for like the Premier League tots upgrade. Uh, if I could find that in here, the, it's a guaranteed tots pack. And that's been a feature and a kind of a, a pack that we look forward to every single year. Yeah, there it is. Premier League tots upgrade 84,000 coins, right? What did this require last year? Probably like an 85 squad. I guess I can't see that what's in here, but there's going to be fodder demand for all the SBCs that we have. We had a Phil Foden Tots card last year. We had some really insane SBCs during Premier League team this season. We had uh, the Akin Fenema was pretty sick. We had the Harry Kane Tots card. We had the uh, flashback Deli Ali, which was one of the most meta midfielders that people used like through the end of the game. So... Uh, investing in the higher rated to middle tier fodder is going to be a good look as well. The one thing I will show you is take a look at 90 Conte last year. If you look, team of the season started in late April, right? He was 43,000 coins. His price never rose throughout literally like the rest of the year. And the reason why that is, 
is there's so many higher rated players that are dropped during team of the season that just become fodder that those cards push the high tier fodder market down so be very careful investing in any fodder above 88 rated because that's kind of where the tots card ratings usually start is about 88 rated but those prices will fluctuate a bit but it's just so easy to get 90 91 and 92 rated cards it just drops the value in those players so much that the they, their fodder prices become lower because there's so much supply that's one thing i'll say is yes we'll trade with higher tier fodder but more so we'll probably be trading with fodder that is 87 rated and below during team this season because if you throw in a tots card to like an 86 rated squad what do you have to buy the rest right you have to buy maybe a couple 84s and some 85s and then you know you fill out the rest of that squad so the middle to lower tier tots fodder market will be the best place to trade during team of the season and then also investing in team of the season cards when team of the season is going on this is a really good investment, and it, every year is a little bit different in how it looks because last year, these cards didn't rise for a while, but if you take a look at Understall, you could have picked one up during Eredivisie Tots, chucked it in your club, kept him there as a tradable player, and then throughout the summer, as a lot of these Tots requirements were, were put out and these cards were not released back into packs, take a look at this card, and he went from 20K all the way to 80,000 coins by the beginning of July. Now, I know that's like, man, that, Nate, that's like end game FIFA, but that's just like a discard inform investment. Every single year team of the season cards have some movement even earlier on like you could have bought for 20k and sold for 29,000 coins that was probably when the uh, Premier League team of the season guarantee SBC was released he went up there another one here shows another uh, Cooper right he had a couple spikes 17k up to 26 but then of course there's a massive massive rise later on in the year Todd's cards that are like discard um, these are some of the lowest rated ones right so these guys 87 and 88 rated you can see 22k for 88s really really low 87 rates for 19k for these tots cards they're always really good club stocks like right around 20,000 coins for the cheapest tots cards that are released uh that is always a really really good club stock during the team of the season promo so that's a good way we can invest during team of the season now Let's talk some more about during team of the season and like some more meta cards. If you're on a top tier budget, not even a top tier, if you have more than a couple hundred thousand coins, if you think about it, every single week of team of the season, new cards are released, and we've already mentioned it a little bit, investing in some of those players that link in that popular league or nation to the TOTS cards that are out because obviously not everybody gets a TOTS. Darwin Nunez is in the TOTS voting, but even if he doesn't get a team of the season, this foot birthday card being as rare as it is, five-star skills and a five-star week foot version could really have some positive price movements during Premier League team of the season. Now, prices are probably going to start to go up anyway because the market's been very, very low. And as we get to team of the season, people will open packs. They'll want to go out and they'll want to buy cards. But you will want to focus in the areas every single week of what major league is being put out, especially around some of the icons, right? For Premier League team of the season, we're going to want to keep a watch on some of these trophy titans, foot birthday and World Cup uh, and team of the year icons that are English, right? That maybe link to those popular English players that could be in team of the season. And of course, players that link by the league. Let me show you something pretty crazy from last year. Um, just a couple cards that I kind of looked up really fast. Last year, it can go way back to older promos too. If a promo card is meta enough, it is good, has good links, and is a card that people may want to buy as they're trying out new team of the season cards every single week of team of the season. This Kingsley Coman just dropped all like team of the season until Bundesliga, right? Bundesliga Tots comes around the week before it comes out or a couple days. He's 117,000 coins. During Bundesliga Tots that next week, he goes all the way up to 180,000 coins coins that's a really good investment if you buy the players from the next team this season like a week beforehand because then you're looking at just straight up cash as people go out and build teams and buy those players to link together with their new tots cards that they're trying out uh in that specific week's league of team of the season Th same thing with like community tots cards fred last year was an insane investment he went from 480,000 coins with five star skills in community tots the next week with prem tots he went up almost 100k he was like four, 460 to 560 in the next week and then of course dropped off a lot the thing i will say is if you're trading in this manner which i will be doing it's about 
no much no longer than like a one week hold it's got to be quick it's got to be snappy because you don't want to be holding on to these cards for long because this is also the part of the year where the insane content gets released and as you can see fred had a big drop off these cards as we get towards the summer you know we have like re-releases of tots cards they get put back into packs even kings of the coal mine right he went from 118 to 179 but then he just slowly dropped off like literally for the rest of the year as we get into summer fifa so i do expect to see a good amount of market rise during team the season and we'll be covering that every single day as we normally do on the daily uploads on the channel but having these things in mind i think is really good heading into team of the season so that you kind of have like a mindset of what we maybe be able to do to make coins and uh to kind of grow our coin total right it's a really good opportunity during team of the season because there's a lot of content that is out so fodder goes up links go up there's just a lot of hype on the game people are playing fifa which makes prices fluctuate so you can make a lot of coins at the same time as you're doing a lot of the fun sbcs because tots is also a time to just have fun because it's near it's kind of like the beginning of the end of fifa right that's what team of the season is the beginning of the end we're in almost may now right we're looking forward to eafc 24 and especially in july all the news that's going to come out to that and what this next year of fifa right with a different name is going to look like so this is the time for you to have fun so as you're having fun doing sbcs making a couple investments and trades during this next couple of months is going to be key to help your coin balance stay up just to a level where you can at least have some coins to have some fun on this game so hopefully all the stuff we talked about today helped you if it did drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe for the daily videos as we'll talk about the market every single day through team of the season and how we can maneuver it well maneuver the content well and of course make some coins so again if you enjoyed the video today drop a follow on the twitch streams down below we do this live on stream we talk about it you can ask questions it's very interactive it's a lot of fun so i'll see you down there and i'll see you in a stream soon it's been nathan for the count and catch you guys later peace out.